Now, as I bring us to the conclusion of the last key that help you to see the end of adversity, that's key four, is remain joyful and praiseful. Let me let you understand this today, that if the enemy can stop your praise, they have stopped your harvest. If the enemy can steal your joy, they have stolen your testimony. They have stolen your testimony, rather. Can I let you understand that it takes joy, rejoicing, and praise to see the very end of all your troubles. One of the things that adversity tends to do is to kill joy out of you. A joyless man is a hopeless man, and a hopeless man is finished. A joyful man will be a man of thanksgiving, and a thankful man will be a man of praise. And any man of praise will secure the presence of God. And any man that has capacity to secure the presence of God has secured the destiny. Can I let you understand that what you are going through right now, no matter where you are right now, no matter how conditions are right now for you, I'd like you to stay joyful. If you lose your joy, you have lost the fuel for motion. You have been stuck by your situation. Beloved, every man is going through stuff. Don't let what you are going through go through you. If it does, it will destroy you. I'd like you to go through your situation with the view that God is still with you that God is still faithful and that God will bring you out. Our joy is not in any of the things that are around us. I like Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. He said, rejoice in the Lord. He didn't say rejoice because things are working. Rejoice in the Lord. Habakkuk chapter 3, from verse 17 to 19 said, even though the fig tree does not blossom, there's no calf in the stall and everything seems to be perished. He said, but I will joy in the God of my salvation. And I like the conclusion. Say, when I maintain my joy in the God of my salvation, he will make my feet as hinds feet. He will set me upon my high places. The only way to come out of all your trouble is to maintain your joy. Your joy is the foil for acceleration out of all your troubles. If the enemy can dry up your joy, then they can't deny your testimony. If the enemy can't stop your joy, they can't stop your praise. And if they can't stop your praise, they can't stop your harvest. Beloved, whatever makes you stop thanking God for life has ended the journey to greatness. Because it takes only a man that is alive to be thankful. And it takes only a man that is thankful to see the next hand and the next move of God for your life. This day, I'd like you to understand that this situation is not meant to end your life. You will surely see the end of the situation. Somebody may say, why should I be joyful? There's enough reason to be joyful. To him that is joined to the living, there is hope. You are still alive, that's why you are thinking of breakthrough. You are still alive, that's why you are talking about getting married. You are still alive, that's why you are talking about paying out your debts. You are still alive, that's why you are talking about getting healed. Only the living, only the living shall praise him. The required condition for praise is just breath. You don't need breakthrough to praise God. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Can I let you understand that you are going through trial has made you a candidate for a testimony. So be grateful for life. Be joyful for everything that you have gone through. In the book of 2 Peter 1, verse 6 and 7, he said that the trial of your faith may produce to you. He will make your faith solid and it will result into thanksgiving. And the book of James chapter 1 says, Count it all joy, beloved, when you fall into diverse temptation. Why? Temptations will end up building muscles in you that makes you a superstar that God uses in the end time. Can I let somebody understand today? Don't let anything steal your joy. It may be happening around you. Don't let it happen inside of you. The battles are surrounding you. Don't let the battles be within you. Because once the battles start fighting in your heart, you have lost it right now. Don't let the pain go into you. Be focused that God is with you. Remember, you can ask God what is the way forward. Also remember, you need to stay in faith and patience to be able to see the end of this challenge. And everyone who is truly in faith is truly a joyful man. Faith sees the reality of God in the midst of our circumstances. You cannot see God's possibility and not be joyful. And you cannot be joyful and not celebrate His hand. As I conclude today with you, in Psalm 67 from verse 3 to 7, say, let the people praise Him and let the people praise Him. Then shall the earth yield our increase. Our God shall bless us and the ends of the earth shall fear Him. 
there's no harvest of testimony where praise is dry. There's no harvest of testimony when our joy is gone. The, wither, the, the Bible says the harvest of the feed perisheth because joy is withered away from the heart of men. Don't let anything take your smile away from you. It is required to see the end of that situation. Nothing frustrates your enemies like all they have done to you and you are still smiling. All they have done to you, you are still praising God. Can I let you understand? You are coming out of this situation and it will look as if you never went through this time in your life. Remember the key again? Be conscious of God with you. Stay on being a smart warrior by making the prayers of inquiry. When we ask God what next, he tells us what next to do. And if he will do nothing at the moment, he tells you how to stay on with him. And we need our faith and we need patience to see God perform his work. And the last key, stay joyful, stay praiseful. If they can't steal your joy, they can't deny you access to the next level. If they can't stop your praise, they can't hurt your harvest. This season, you are coming out in a mega way. God's blessing will come upon you, your family, and all the losses you have encountered. There will be a supernatural order of recovery in Jesus' name precious name. See you again next time. The Lord bless you.